Greetings, gentlemen. I'm going to pause Chanty Binks here because, quite frankly, I don't want to give her any more oxygen. And I think that I've illustrated my point nicely via Plutchstick's wheel of emotions. And you, as the viewer of this video, have felt the negative emotions highlighted in reaction to Miss Binks's hostile rant. Let's talk a little about transactional stimulus and transactional response. When one person speaks or acknowledges the presence of another, it represents transactional stimulus. When the other person responds to that stimulus, it is called transactional response. This goes for both speaking as well as for body language and gestures. There is stimulus and response. Note Miss Binks's angry and hostile transactional stimulus and also note the transactional response from the man in the video who attempted to react logically and was shut down to the intense negative emotions and body language of Miss Binks. Emotions that overwhelmed the man. As you can see from the video, Miss Binks, and I believe that it is indeed Ms and not Mrs, is very hostile. And this hostility, her transactional stimulus, causes an emotional reaction in us men. Our emotional reaction, as I've highlighted via Plutchik's wheel, is to feel a range of negative human emotions, which included in this case apprehension, fear, terror, loathing, disgust, annoyance, anger, and rage. Now, Miss Binks may be an extreme feminist and not representative of the whole of Western women or Western feminists in general, but I would like to argue here that when dealing with Western women or feminists, in general, us men react emotionally in a similar way to Miss Binks. Perhaps not as strongly as in this example, but our emotional gut reaction is still the same, feeling the range of negative human emotions. In the West, feminist women like Miss Binks have great influence at the highest level of business and government. This is why, under political correctness and feminism, that us men feel the way that we do and why it feels like we are constantly walking on eggshells when dealing with Western women, especially Western women in the workplace. We are living in a society where feminism has taken full hold and where there is no other choice for you as a man other than to get out of Dodge on a regular basis and go to places in the world which have not been so heavily influenced by Western feminists. Places where you'll be treated well and with respect. Places where the women know how to treat a man. 
I've personally been making once a year trips to Patea, Thailand and engaging with women and lady boys in that Eastern society. And the emotions I feel whilst I'm in Thailand are overwhelmingly positive. I understand full well why Western men so easily fall in love with Thai bar girls. Because these bar girls, the transactional stimulus that they give, causes a transactional response from us men, which lights up all the positive leaves of Platschik's wheel, including amazement, surprise, interest, anticipation, serenity, joy, ecstasy, acceptance, trust and admiration. These positive emotions are so strong that we end up feeling love towards them. It makes complete sense why a Western man could fall in love with a Thai bar girl because he is not used to feeling this range of positive emotions back home in the West when dealing with Western women. Indeed, if he has ever felt these emotions, then he will associate them with the act of falling in love, and this will be a rare and special event for him back home. In Thailand, this is something that happens much faster and much more easily than in the West. This causes a man to reflect on his experiences with women back home and causes him to realise that he's been manipulated his entire life by Western women and has been playing the game completely by the rules that they have set. Despite the fact that men and women are now equal, he has had to work himself to death to earn a high income and to acquire wealth and resources in order to earn the love of a Western woman and to be a good provider. Remember, all women are, are hypergamous and look to marry up. Lest she go elsewhere and find another man who is also playing the game women have set. It is an unpleasant realisation when you come to the conclusion that your entire life back home has been spent trying to make women happy and due to the negative emotions they elicit in you much of the time, you simply work harder at this task. Like a hamster in a wheel, you keep running but are going nowhere. I ask myself this question frequently. How can a Thai prostitute, the daughter of a rice farmer, with not much, if any, in the way of formal education, and who is living and working at the bottom levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, how can she elicit such positive emotions from us Western men and make it so easy for us to fall in love with her, whilst her Western cousin, Ms. Equal Rights, Ms. Feminist, who is living and working in many cases at the top levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, is able to elicit such negative emotions. It's interesting how women behave when they are living in a wealthy society and have everything, compared to when they are living in a poorer society and have next to nothing. That is interesting, isn't it? The bottom line is that the Western woman and Western women in, and feminists in general, the emotions that they elicit in men, including loathing, disgust, annoyance, anger and rage, lead us to feel contempt for them, whilst the positive emotions that the Thai bar girls elicit in us, including ecstasy, joy, serenity, admiration, trust and acceptance, lead us to feel love for them. Western women looking for love should take a leaf out of the Thai bar girl's handbook. Surely, with Miss Feminist's high level of education and career success, she could at least try to mimic the actions of the poor Thai bar girl to make us fall in love with her. I mean, really, how hard is it? Refer to Plastic's Wheel. How? Join me on my independent gender studies trips to Thailand and we can study the phenomenon together and take notes. Anyway, I for one am proud to join the quote-unquote losers in Thailand. The Western men who have gotten off the hamster wheel, got in tune with their feelings and have made the only logical and emotionally rea rational response to the situation on the ground in the West. Get on a plane and experience life in a non-feminist society. 
I will not fall in love with a bar girl. I have a whole set of rules I follow strictly whilst playing that game. It's an illusion, yes, but it's a beautiful illusion, and one which is not available back home in the West at any price. For now, I'll continue playing the Thailand game and continue making videos like this to try to raise the consciousness of as many other men as I can so that we have more free men in our society. All the best, gentlemen. I'm the pretender. Yeah.